mentioning from my last video uh, where we proved uh, the SN formula. Uh, where was that? Yeah, so this is what, what we proved. SN is equal to uh, this wonderful formula, which is n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times t. Okay, so now in this question, there was one more question I didn't see there. So we proved, we graphed this uh, equation of y is equal to 3 sine x. And then there was a line which was kx, which passed through the maximum. And we found the equation of that line is 6 over pi x. The next question is a very good question. I really like this question. What does it say? State the coordinate, coordinates of the other point apart from the origin where the line and the curve intersect. So let us look at the graph first. So we are talking about this line. They are asking us now, where does this line, we know that this is passing through 0 and 3. Okay, that is 0 and pi by 2. This point is pi by 2, 3. So where is the other, which is, so the graph does tell me that this point is negative pi, uh, negative pi, negative 3. Negative pi by 2, negative 3. But you have to show the logic behind it. So, so the gradient, if you think about it, the gradient from year to year, if you take the, if you go, if you're going 3 up, you have to run pi by 2. So if you're going backwards, if you're running 3, plus 3, if you're going backwards, you have to run minus 3. And if you're running pi by 2, you have to uh, run, because you're doing, talking in the negative direction. So if you run negative 3, you, if you, sorry, rise negative, negative 3, you have to run minus pi by 2. So logically, you can understand, I'll repeat it again. If you run, if you rise 3, you have to run pi by 2 to get to this point. So if you're going backwards, if to have the same gradient, because you should know that the line has the same gradient, you if you run negative 3, you have to, sorry, you if you rise negative 3, this is negative 3. This is negative 3. If you rise negative 3, you have to run negative pi by 2. So let me, what I'm saying is, if the run, Oh, sorry, if the rise is minus 3 and the run is minus pi by 2, the gradient would be the same because rise over run, this is 3 over pi by 2 is 6 over pi and these two negatives will cancel each other. So we can say that the other point for this question would be the coordinates of the other point would be negative pi by 2, comma, negative 3, just like that. Okay, now let us look at this question. The line L1 has an equation of 2x plus y is equal to 8, and the line L2 passes through the point 7, 4, and is perpendicular to L1. Find the equation of L1. Always good, good to draw the, a sketch of the graph. So let me... Uh, use a thinner pen. I, for some reasons, so don't don't like thicker pen. So let me use this wood too. Let me use say the violet color. So I'm going to write this equation in mx plus c or gradient and intercept form. So this line can be L1 can be written as y is equal to 8 minus 2x. Okay. Now, what is the other information? L2 is perpendicular to L1. So, you know if two lines are perpendicular, what do I, let me draw a perp two perpendicular lines. Suppose this is this only a sketch and uh, let me draw a perpendicular. Okay, suppose this is my L1 and this is my L2. They are perpendicular to each other. They are perpendicular to each other. They are forming right angle at the point of, it doesn't look like perpendicular, so let me make it better. I can draw better than that. 
this is fine. Okay. So, so this is these two lines are perpendicular to each other. And they're forming right angles. So if this suppose L1, uh, let me write generally. If this is say the gradient is M2, and the gradient of L1 is M1. If they are perpendicular, we know that M1 times M2 should be negative 1. Okay, this is what uh, you have need to remember. If two lines are perpendicular, the gradients, the product of the gradients would be negative 1. So in this case, can we say M1 is negative 2, which implies M2 has to be what? If the product has to be negative 1, what this negative 2 times what gives you negative 1? I hope you understand that is half. Why? Let me, let me show because negative 2 times half is equal to negative 1. Okay, so I know the gradient. I know that the gradient of this line is half or L2 is half. So I can say L2 should be the equation of M L2 should be y is equal to half x plus c. Now what other information do I know? I know that the line L2 passes through 7, 4. That means this point satisfies this equation. So I can say when x is 7, y is 4. So let me write that. So I can say 7, 4. 7, 4 lies on L2, which implies when x is 7, y is equal to 4. So let me drag this down, this question. I don't want to see that. Why not going? Alright. This will not move. I have to. Mm. Excuse me. Um, okay, that's fine now. So let me bring the pin to. So I can put x as seven and y as four. So four is equal to half times seven plus c. So four is equal to three point five plus c, which implies c has to be point five because three point five plus point five is so L2 has this equation, L2 is y is equal to half x plus half, point five is same as half. Okay, so I think we can do the next question. Given that L2 and L1 intersect each other, find the length of LAB. So we need to find the point of intersection. Okay, so what is A? Yeah, we know A and B is the point of intersection. Okay, so uh, what do we know? So we know Y, L1, what is L1? L1 is 8 minus 2x. L1 equation is 8 minus 2x. So the other equation of Y is half x plus half. Now these two I'll show the dra diagrammatically. Now this is the B point. This is point. That's what they're saying. This point is B. So we have to solve this simultaneous equation. So I can set this is equal to this. So I can say 8 minus 2x is equal to 0.5x plus 0.5. I'm going to isolate the x's together and the numbers together. So I'm going to bring, so I'm going to take away 0.5 from both sides. So I can say 8 minus 0.5 and I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So I'll show what I mean. Suppose what I've done in this step is I have added this side, I've taken away, let me use a different color. So if I take away 0. Point, what's happening here? If I take away 0. 0.5 from this side, 
I have to take away 0 0.5 from this side. And if I add, if I add 2x on this side, I have to add 2x on this side. So what I've done is I'm isolating the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So what will happen? Let me use again a different color. So this and this gets cancelled, and this and this gets cancelled. Okay. So I'll have to start with black now. So, so what happens? So now this is 8 minus 0.5x is equal to, uh, this is 2x plus 0.5x. So this is 3.5x is equal to, this is 7 take away 0.5 is 7.5, which implies x is 75 divided by 35, okay? So let me use the calculator. So menu 1, that is 75 divided by 35. Uh, this is not a tidy number. Okay, I hopefully have not done any mistakes. So let me check my work. 8 minus 6x, that's fine, is equal to half x plus half. Have I done any mistake? Uh, don't think so. This is 7.5 and this is 2.5. Here we go. It's always good to check. Whenever you don't get a neat answer, there should be something wrong. This should be 2.5x. So, I don't prepare the question beforehand. So, this is 25. So, generally, I had the intuition that you should have a neat number. So, x is equal to 3. Okay. Now, I can find y. y is, you can use either one of these equations. I use the easier one. That is 8 minus 2x, which is 8 minus 6. So y is equal to 2. So uh, point B has the coordinate of 3 comma 2. 3 comma 2. I'll do the last part in the next video. Thank you very much.